Hey guys, what's up? You don't need to yell. Welcome to Midnight Snacks. The third Dan and Zach. I'm There's Dan, that's Zach, as I'm sure you guys all know. 37th episode. I think it's the 42nd actually. Okay, well. So if you guys uh, haven't seen the other 41, just go ahead and uh, click around. Keep looking. And, uh, keep me up, find them. Keep up, find them. Anyway, tonight we're going to talk about aliens. <sighs> what about them? Do you think aliens exist? I do. I think so. I don't know if they're visiting Earth. Like I want to. I want to believe that they are because life seems more exciting if people are getting probed in the butt by little green yeah, men. Just like little guys hovering around. It's, yeah, that's that's exciting. That'd that's be cool. cool. Um, but there's just so many possibilities out there. So many stars and planets and. There has to be extraterrestrial life out there. Like there's just so many different stars, so many different planets. One of those planets has to have life. I mean, right, right. I think the debate comes once you start to factor in like the time frame and the distance and whether or not like like despite the mathematical probability of there being alien life form, what is the probability that they would have existed at the exact same time frame as us while being able to travel those great distances. I feel like if I were to like run for president, which I might do one day, that the first thing I do, like they go in and swear you in, and they probably take you to a room where they just have all sorts of like alien shit, alien bodies, alien ray guns, the newest alien technology that they've been released to the public over like five years. And I probably have to sign some sort of contract. Right? I've always thought this, like Obama. I think about Obama. He knows. He, he knows. does. He does. Like, and I would like to, like, if I was dying on my deathbed, like I had like terminal disease, I would call Obama. I'd be like, man, please tell me, like, are there aliens out there? Yeah, well, there's a lot of those shows, you know, that they supposedly get, like, people that have been, like, in the military. True. Or the Air Force that have, like, been higher-ups, and that they've, like, known these things, and they always, and, like, some people will say, like, oh, like, I can't talk about it, like, or some people will even, like, go on TV and, like, get, like, that black shadow put yeah, over their black face. black shadow. Maybe that guy know. is a black shadow. Oh, no. <laughs> and they say that, like, oh, yeah, like, we were flying, we saw these lights, and then the government told us not to say anything. You think that, they, that there's a possibility that the aliens may have turned into a black shadow? No. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, um, you don't know what they made. But do. then again, you know, like what? Like I think that, I think that, pe I think that maybe we're on the wrong track of thinking that, like, oh, aliens are visiting us. Like, who's to say that they're so advanced that they can visit us? Like, we obviously can't visit other planets. Why? What makes them so special that they can come see us? I think that the argument there is that, like, we progressed so far within like just two hundred years. We like. We're rolling wheelbarrows and pig shit, and now we're like. But what if, like, what if just travel, like, intra-solar system or intra-galaxy travel, is just an, not a possibility? Uh, no matter how far advanced other alien races may be, what if it's just not a possibility? I think that I, I mean, I've read some stuff. I've watched some Discovery Channel shit. This stuff interests me. I think that as far as we know, the physics behind these things. It's pretty sound that it's possible. We just don't have like the energy capacity or like the resources to pull up. The resources and the economic costs aren't in line. It costs too much money to like travel in space right now. So as those costs come down, we'll be able to. So you're saying that alien races are filthy rich? Oh, disgusting, probably. Okay, okay. and probably that's how like, they're getting to us because they have money. <laughs> giant moon rocks. <laughs> <laughs> they want to have the bills in the alien strip club. Oh, oh man. man, what do you think an alien strip club might be? I mean, they probably have to be rich because they're going to have to pay, like, not just to see two boobs, but three boobs <laughs> three on a girl, you know? Total recall? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what you're doing. <laughs> Total recall. Well, and that wraps up another Ripley that's conversation. What, that's what we have to say about aliens. If you guys want to write anything in the comments, you know, about what you what you feel and uh, what you think. Well, anyway, heated internet debate right now. Oh, of course, man. Of course, this guy goes through ten keyboards every week. <laughs> <laughs> Four alien moves. <laughs> this is unheard of. All right. Well, see you guys next time. See you next time. Take, Take your pants sure. off. Take my pants off. Let's do it. Most of the videos end with us taking your pants off.